lecture series on mathematical modeling and analysis. In the last lecture, we have discussed uh, this phase diagrams and the null Klein functions for uh, nonlinear differential equations. And in the present lecture, we will uh, discuss about continuous time uh, lotka voltera competition model. So, especially in this model, uh, we will just uh, use like uh, two species uh, which can just compete each other for the resource of food or uh, like the same species or like other species can be present there over for uh, like um, they can just compete for like uh, different resources or a different uh, source of foods. So, second phase we will just go for this uh, lotka voltera competition model since uh, this uh, scientist like Lotka and uh, Voltera they have discussed this model for uh, uh, two species model when there is uh, like uh, two species are project, uh, present and they can just compete for the same resources. So, if you will just uh, go for this uh, competition model, if instead of uh, one species in a population, uh, if there are like two or more than two types of species are introduced simultaneously into the same culture, then the growth of uh, one species can be hampered by the extent of uh, this uh, nutrients or habitat that are shared by other type of species. This type of inter interaction is known as uh, like a competition model here. The competition may be like uh, interspecific between uh, two or more different species or intraspecific means uh, like inside that population they can just uh, like struggle each other to get the food. So, between members of the same, same species especially it can be said to be. Sometimes only the strongest species prevails making weaker species uh, to decline and uh, this is called principle of uh, competitive exclusion. Since uh, if uh, somebody is stronger, they can they can just uh, get the food, and weaker they cannot survive in that situation. The competition models were uh, first given by Alfred uh, James Lotka. He is a USA mathematician and a physical chemist, and uh, this Volterra, who is an uh, Italian mathematician. So independently, they have just given their model. And uh, if you will just go for this uh, Lotka Volterra competition model, so. A simple logistic model if you will just consider that is in the form of like uh, dn by dt this equals to rn into 1 minus n by k which can be especially written as rn into a k minus n by k where r represents the intrinsic growth rate and k is the maximum carrying capacity here. So, if we will just consider an Iceland where only two types of species are uh, living the corresponding model will be given by like uh, d a n 1 by d t, where a intrinsic growth rate it will present that is a corresponding to this like um, atmospheric condition or like resources available. This um, population level with respect to time will get changed that is especially r 1 n we have just tried. And then this population level it will be controlled by different factors. So, first one it is uh, some other species or certain other constants if it is uh, or constraints if it is present there. Then it will be declined by the other species if they are present over there. That is why we have just written here minus beta 1 to n 2. Similarly, if a second species it is just present over there that rate of change of that population which can be written as r 2 as the intrinsic growth rate, n 2 is the total population level and which can be affected by like the total population level n 2 with the presence of like fast spaces whatever it is just present in that population level. So, that we have just uh, explained it in a clear form here if you will just see. So, beta 1 2 we have just written here that affects on carrying capacity of fast spaces due to individual of second spaces present there. And beta 2 1 that affects the carrying capacity of second spaces due to the presence of fast spaces there. So, that is why beta 1 to n 2 that restricts the total effect on carrying capacity of fast spaces due to the second or in layman we can just uh, say that the amount by which growth rate of fast was affected will be declined due to the presence of second. Same it can be applied for uh, like n 2 population there. And, uh, if we will just consider here like uh, this uh, constants beta 1 2 and beta 2 1 equals to 0 here, then it means that one of the species that will not be affected by the other species there. But you can have a competition model since inside the population there will be some weaker elements and some are stronger elements present there. 
they will just compete each other for the food or resources there. So, that is why still a competition will uh, exist between the, between this uh, individual species there. And uh, the system if you just see here the equation represented in a 19.2 here. So, which uh, represents a 2 nonlinear first order first degree differential equation. And if we want to go for the steady state here, then we can just write this one as like uh, n 1 into k 1 minus n 1 minus beta 1 to n 2 this equals to 0 and also n 2 into k 2 minus n 2 minus beta 2 1 n 1 by k 2 this equals to 0 here. So, this will just give you like n 1 equals to 0 or n 1 plus beta 1 2 plus n 2 this equals to k 1. Similarly, n 2 equals to 0 from the second equation and beta 2 1 n 1 plus n 2 equals to k 2 here. So, the steady states are like uh, 0 0. If you just put uh, n 1 equals to 0, we can just find k 2 equals to 0 also. So, if you just put like k 1 equals to 0, then we will have like k 2 n 2 equals to k 2 here. And if you just put like uh, n 1 equals to k 2, then we will have like k 2 equals to 0 and another equilibrium point that is just occurring at k 1 minus beta 1 2 by k 2 by 1 minus beta 1 2 beta 2 1 k 2 minus beta 2 1 k 1 by 1 minus beta 2 1 into beta 1 2. So, we will have like a 4 equilibrium points now. So, this steady state 0 0 this represents that no species is present at that level or this represents the absence of both the species. So, if you both these species are absent, so the population cannot grow in that level. Second one is like a k 1 0, this represents that the first species is present, second species is absent, 0 k 2 represents that the first species is absent, second species is present with maximum carrying capacity. And uh, the fourth one which is represented as k 1 by beta 1 to k 2 by 1 minus beta 1 to beta 2 1 and k 2 minus beta 2 1 k 1 by 1 minus beta 1 to beta 2 1 which represents both these spaces are coexisting at that level. So, if you just go for uh, null clients here to find the stability or unstability situations. So, there are 4 possibilities if you just see here. So, first possibility is that if you just see here. So, k 2 minus beta 2 1 k 1 if you just consider here. So, this means that k 2 by beta 2 1 either it is greater than k 1 or it is less than k 1. Based on that we have just uh, considered like 4 conditions here. First condition is that k 2 by beta 2 1 greater than k 1 and k 2 is greater than k 1 beta 1 2. Only these conditions we are just assuming here and second condition if uh, like uh, both these are like uh, less here. This means that k 2 by beta 2 1 it is less than k 1 and uh, k 1 by beta 1 2 it is uh, like a greater than k 2 here. Similarly, 1 by 1 this like sign changes we have just considered are like different cases here. So, in this case we have just considered like uh, the first case only uh, it is uh, the reverse process here k 1 is greater than k 2 by beta 2 1 and uh, k 2 the same one we have just considered here. Similarly, in this uh, fourth case we have just considered this one as uh, like k 2 by beta 2 1 as it is greater than k 1 and second one remain the same. So, based on this four conditions if you just uh, plot the graphs here for case 1 we can just find that we will have like k 1 since k 1 is less than k 2 by beta 2 1. So, k 2 by beta 2 1 we have just considered it is the larger point here. Similarly, if you just put here k 2, k 2 is greater than k 1 by beta 1 2. So, that is why we have just joined all these points here to establish this relationship. And we will have this axis that is as a n 1 axis and a n 2 axis. Similarly, we have plotted for like case 2, case 3 and case 4 here. And for the like case 3, we are just getting that whenever like k 1 is greater than k 2 by beta 2 1 here. So, we will have like k 2 by beta 2 1 it is less than k 1 and uh, k 2 it is like larger than k 1 by beta 1 2 here. If we are just connecting these two points so that is k 1 and k 1 beta 2. So, there is a intersection of uh, this lines or this null lines here. 
So, if you will just go for like further analysis of these points, we can just find that whenever k 2 by beta 2 1 is greater than k 1 and k 2 is greater than k 1 by beta 1 to here, there are only 3 steady states here. First one is a 0 0 here, second one is a 0 k 2, third one is like k 1 0 here. And uh, for the 0 0 if you will just see that uh, this uh, null clients of n 1 and n 2 they are just uh, intersecting each other. Since uh, we have just considered that uh, different null clients should intersect each other to get the steady state points. And uh, 0 k 2 if you will just see here that is nothing but intersection of n 1 equals to 0 and uh, beta 2 1 n 1 plus n 2 equals to k 2 line. Similarly, if you will just uh, see this uh, k 1 0 line here that is nothing but intersection of uh, n 2 axis and n 1 plus uh, beta 1 to n 2 this equals to k 1 axis here. So, from the biological point of view if you will just see steady state 0 0 cannot be stable because it is stable it means that both the species will extinct after certain time. So, if you both will dies out in that situation that cannot be a stable position. So, this is not the practical case because species are just competing each other for food not killing each other they will just survive each other whatever the resources it will be available. So, some species they can eat and they can survive instant or any type of situation. So, that is why we cannot say that this 0 0 point is a stable point here and if you will just see this k 2 point here if you will just consider any like um, uh, point above this k 2 or below this k 2 always we can just find that this uh, uh, level or whatever the point we can just choose the tool just move towards k 2 and uh, since this will just give you like uh, uh, increasing function there. So, towards the point k 2 there and if you will uh, find any like uh, values which is above this k 2 that will just uh, coming towards the point k 2. So, that is why this k 2 is a stable point in that scenario. And the same thing we can just uh, we cannot observe that at k 1 point since if you will just uh, put any value here k 2 by beta 2 1 if you will just see here. So, k 2 by beta 2 1 it is always larger than k 1. So, this means that whenever this population of uh, k 2 it will be larger compared to the first population. So, then they can just use this food and uh, we cannot find a like stable condition at k 1 level also. So, if you just go for this further analysis of uh, this model here steady state 0 k 2 and k 1 0 may be stable individually if you just see here, but not simultaneously. Since this is shows that one of the species will dominate other and make other two extinct there. This means that one will survive and other will just uh, die out in that scenario. So, if you just see this graphs here whenever k 2 is a stable point here this means that either we can just consider either k 2 or k 1 here. Since there is no intersection of a two non trivial non clients for this case here it means both these species will not exist together. And uh, if we will just uh, analyze uh, this uh, test case for the point 0 0 here at point p n 1 dash equals to 0 to get this null client lines and n 2 dash equals to 0 which means that both n 1 and n 2 remain constant hence are not stable also. So, that is why we are just pointing this arrow in a both this away from the both these directions. So, this means that uh, this is just uh, going there and this is just going uh, in the outward directions. Since uh, n 1 dash and n 2 dash both are uh, n 1 is constant and n 2 equals to constant there. And the remaining arrows can be drawn easily by using the fact that uh, whenever nature of arrow changes only at the intersection of uh, two null clients. And uh, so, by null client phase diagram we can conclude that steady state 0 0 and uh, k 1 0 is unstable while 0 k 2 is a uh, stable here only second spaces will exist. And uh, if you will just go for like uh, for the second case here. So, when k 1 is a uh, larger than k 2 by beta 2 1 and k 1 by beta 1 2 is greater than k 2 here we can just uh, plot these lines. So, first if you will just uh, see here 0 0 it will just uh, intersection of n 1 and n 2 axis and uh, 0 k 2 that is uh, nothing but this line here. So, this is intersection of uh, n 1 equals to 0 and uh, the second line that is a uh, beta 2 1 n 1 plus uh, n 2 equals to k 2 since if n 1 equals to 0 obviously k 2 equals to n 2 there. And uh, third point it is k 1 0 which is intersection of uh, this n 2 equals to 0 if n 2 equals to 0 we will have n 1 equals to k 1. And for this case we can just find that uh, k 1 represents the uh, 
stable state here, but uh, K2 it is unstable and there is no intersection of a non cells also here. So, for the test point if you just consider as a P equals to 0, 0, if you just proceed like uh, our earlier case whatever we have just considered here. So, we will have n 1 dash equals to 0 and n 2 dash equals to 0, this means that n 1 and n 2 will remain constant and not stable. So, always if the food is or the resources it is utilized by both the spaces they cannot be constant since uh, either food resources will uh, just uh, goes down and one species will compete with the other and uh, one will be declined and other will uh, like survive there over or further we can just say that one will like grow up other will just uh, decline there. And uh, the null client diagram shows that uh, if you just see here at a different level, so we can just find that k10 if you just put in the equation we can just find that it is just represents a stable state while 0 0 and uh, k20 0, uh, 0 k2 are unstable. So, first species will exist in this case. Third case if you just consider like k1 is greater than k2 by beta 2 1 here and k2 is uh, larger than k1 by beta 1 2, we will have this say uh, like uh, uh, equilibrium points 0 0 0 k 2 k 1 0 and uh, we can just find that the fourth point that is existing as k 1 minus beta 1 to k 2 by 1 by beta 1 to beta 2 1 k 2 by minus beta 2 1 k 1 by 1 minus beta 1 to beta 2 1 that is the intersection of this lines which is just uh, drawn from uh, like k 2 to k 2 by beta 2 1 and k 1 by beta 1 2 to k 1 here. Since the intersection of null clients it is just uh, present there, so it is just uh, give you this uh, steady state condition. And uh, if you will just analyze this will just uh, give you also, also a like a intersection point which is represented by this value here. And in this case two spaces cannot coexist because the steady state this one it is not stable. If you just see here all the values they are just going downwards and uh, for this axis we are just finding that all the values they are going outwards also. And in the above of this line if you just see this is just pointing towards this n2 axis and uh, in the like in the uh, leftward direction and if you just uh, see below these points they are just pointing towards this like uh, away from this. Uh, uh, 0 0 point. So, that is why this will not give you a steady state individually if you will just see here. So, we can just find that both these space, spaces are stable, but not coexisting together here. Since k 2 level we are just finding a stable point here and uh, like k 1 level we have also obtained a stable point here. So, individually both the steady states 0 k 2 and 0 k 1 sorry k 1 0 are stable, but uh, no coexisting together. And if you just go for like case 4 here, there are like 4 steady states especially if you just see since there is a intersection of uh, this uh, 2 null clients is existing here. So, we will have this points 0 0, 0 k 2, k 1 0 and this uh, coexisting condition. And in this case 2 spaces can coexist because the steady state uh, this one is uh, stable here. Since if you just see the above this line points are uh, pointing towards uh, like uh, to the axis there n 1 axis and if you just uh, see here the points which is existing below this line they are also pointing towards uh, this uh, stable point which is existing for like a uh, coexisting of both this population level hence this represents a stable condition. Since both are uh, existing or uh, coexisting together, so individually they cannot achieve a steady state. So, further we will just go for like Lotka Volterra competition model that is a we will just do this like a Jacobian matrix analysis here. So, if you will just consider this Lotka Volterra competition model which can be written since already we have written that one that is in the form of D1 Dn1 by Dt this is written as R1 N1 into K1 minus N1 minus beta 1 to N2 by K1 and Dn2 by Dt which is written as like a R2 N2 into K2 minus N2 minus beta 2 1 N1 by K2 here and uh, if you will just uh, put this one this equals to 0, this equals to 0, we can just find the steady state uh, conditions. But first order differentiation with respect to n 1 if you will just uh, do that will just uh, give you this uh, first term here and if you will just uh, do this uh, like uh, differentiation with respect to n 2 that will just uh, provide uh, this term here 
and uh, if you will just uh, go for like a uh, first order differentiation of uh, n 1 of uh, this equation here, then we will uh, just get it as like uh, minus r 2 k 2 r 2 by k 2 n 2 beta 2 1. So, similarly we can just uh, get after the like uh, differentiation with respect to n 2, we will have like r 2 by k 2 k 2 minus 2 n 2 minus beta 2 1 n 1 here. So, this is nothing but the like uh, differentiation with respect to d by d n 1 for the first function we are just doing this one. If I will just write this is as like uh, f n 1 n 2 here, this is like uh, g of n 1 n 2 here. So, then we are just differentiating this one f here, this is a d by d n 2 of uh, f here, this is a d by d n 1 of uh, g here this is a d by d n 2 of g here. So, then uh, at the steady state 0 0 we will have this Jacobian value if you will just see here n 1 n 2 if you will just put 0 then we can just uh, find this values as a uh, like first value as r 1 here then 0 then 0 and r 2 if you will just see since k 1 k 1 it will just cancel it out here n 1 n 2 is 0. So, that is why this is just coming as r 1 here. So, here n 1 is 0. So, n 2 is 0 here also. So, same thing here that is r 2 by k 2 into k 2 here. So, this both these quantities are 0. So, that is why this is just coming as r 2 here. And uh, Jacobian j 1 is uh, nothing but the diagonal matrix here. So, we will have this Eigen values so that is nothing but the diagonal entries here r 1 and r 2 both are positive. So, the steady state 0 0 is unstable here and uh, we can just compare this result with the null lines in the uh, all the 4 cases you can just see. So, for steady state 0 k 2 if you just see the Jacobian matrix is uh, just uh, given uh, this values if you just directly put to n 1 equals to 0 and uh, n 2 equals to k 2 we can just obtain this Jacobian here. And uh, if you will just uh, go for the analysis of uh, this uh, Lotka Volterra competition model in uh, this uh, like eigenvalues analysis here, Jacobian J2, if you will just see here, is a lower triangular matrix. So, this uh, diagonal entries are uh, nothing but the eigenvalues here. And uh, if you will just uh, see one of the eigenvalues so minus R2 is always negative, hence uh, the stability of the steady state will be entirely depend on the nature of the eigenvalue R1 into K1 minus beta 1 to k 2 here. So, when if you can just assume here k 1 is less than beta 1 to k 2 or k 1 by beta 1 to less than k 2 the Eigen value will be negative and will make the steady state 0 k 2 is stable. This means that we just try to compare this uh, both these methods uh, for this Lotka Volterra competition model here. And for steady state k 1 0 we will have this Jacobian that is in the form of uh, this here. And uh, if you will just see here j 3 is an upper triangular matrix and the Eigen values uh, are nothing but uh, we can just take the principal diagonal elements here. So, the stability region if you will just see here we can just find k 1 0 will turn out to be k 2 by beta 2 1 it is less than k 1. We can just compare this one with the results of null kinds also. Similarly, if you will just uh, go for like uh, for steady state uh, at this point Jacobian will be given as uh, this one here and uh, for this we have to do like lot of algebraic works uh, to find the Eigen values for this uh, Jacobian here and uh, we have to uh, skip all these calculations since it is a tedious task here. The since uh, the primary goal is to analyze the uh, calculations uh, here after solving the stability region of steady state here we will just get that is uh, different uh, regions we can just uh, define here k 2 by beta 2 1 is greater than k 1, k 1 by beta 1 2 is greater than k 2 which is same for uh, the inequality it is considered in case 4 for this uh, uh, null clients we have just considered. And uh, till so far we have studied this null client behavior and Jacobian of a Lotka Volterra competition model. Now we can just proceed for actual phase plane diagram with help of null client and Jacobian. So, manually it is difficult to draw the phase diagram. So, we will just analyze them together to get a clear overview of this model. If you will just see for the first model here, we can just find that in Jacobian sense that if we are just finding here r 1 and r 2 are both are positive. So, the steady state 0 0 is unstable. 
we can just uh, say that 0, 0 is an unstable point here. Second analysis if you just uh, do here, like for uh, 0 k2, we have obtained that uh, one of this uh, eigenvalue that is uh, 0 k2 is stable since we will have like k1 is less than beta 1 to k2 and k1 by beta 1 to is less than k2. The same thing we have just considered for this case also. So, that is why we have just what find that k2 is a stable point for this case. And point wise analysis if we can just do this arrows if you just visualize in case of null lines here. We can just find that k2 is also a stable point. If you just put all these arrows in line form there, that lines are nothing but if you will just see here, these are the lines here which is just pointing towards the point k2 here. So, for the second case if you will just see here, then we have just obtained in Jacobian model k1 as the stable point here, k10 if you will just see the stability region k10 will turn out to be k2 by beta 1 is less than k1. The same thing we have obtained for uh, this Jacobian as well as null lines for this case also. Similarly, we have analyzed the stable state for uh, like third case that is k1 is greater than k2 by beta 2 1 and uh, k2 greater than k1 by beta 1 2. So, we want to visualize that both this like uh, qualitative approach and the null clients both should be same. So, that is why this analysis has been put it over there. So, that is why for case 3 we have obtained this uh, line analysis whatever this arrows we have put it over there. So, always it is just pointing towards the point k2. and. Uh, for this point if you will just see this points uh, it is just moving towards this point and this is also moving towards the point. But at this level if you will just see these points are uh, just going outward from this point. In this level we cannot say that this is a stable point here. And for case 4 we have just find that uh, this is the stable steady state point that is the coexisting point if you will just see. And uh, at this level if you will just see these points are pointing outwards here. And uh, in this level also you can just uh, see that these points are outwards uh, moving, if you will just see this one. But at this level if you will just see all these points are pointing towards this point here. So, that is why it is just representing a stable state. So, if you will just go for this uh, like uh, intensity uh, of this competition level if you will just analyze this means that beta 1 2 and beta 2 1 parameter how it is just performing for this uh, Lotka Volterra model. So, then if this parameter is less than 1, then the competition is less intense and if it is greater than 1, if you just see it is more intense. So, depending on this uh, behavior, we have like 4 possible cases. First one it is a beta 1 2, it should be greater than 1 and beta 2 1, it should be greater than 1. Second case we have just uh, assumed as beta 1 2 is greater than 1 and beta 2 1 is less than 1. Third case beta 1 2 less than 1 and beta 2 1 greater than 1 and beta 2 1, beta 1 2 is less than 1 and beta 2 1 is less than 1. So, all the possible cases we have just assumed for beta 1 2 and beta 2 1 in a coupled form. So, in the first 3 of the above cases if you will just see at least one of the species is aggressive hence making them not to coexisting together. While in the last case if you will just see here both these parameters are less intense making the system to reach the steady state which can make both the species to exist together since both these parameters are less than 1 here. And if you will observe all these above 4 cases easily be obtained from previous inequalities 4 cases by considering same carrying capacity that is k1 equals to k2. And uh, in this model uh, our, uh, uh, we have just uh, discussed like uh, first the competition models where like uh, more than one species uh, they are just existing. Then we have discussed about Lotka Volterra competition models. So, first we have formulated the model and analyzed the model. Then we have just uh, tried to explain the uh, what is the biological existence of this model with the mathematical assumptions. Then we have just uh, tried to analyze this model using null Klein functions, then this Jacobian and uh, tried to compare both this uh, like null Klein functions and Jacobian with the phase plan diagrams. Then final uh, phase we have just uh, discussed uh, this uh, intensity of this competition levels. Thank you for listening this lecture.